Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And what I'm going to look at today is a program called Duotone. And actually what prompted this was something I just saw Blake Newbar do. And I thought it was so cool. I just kind of had to share this with everybody. Now I've been in this site before. I've used images off of this site. And what's really cool is they got just tons and tons of images. I think they all come from Unsplash. As you can see up here, you can search on Unsplash. And then over here on the right, you got your two colors and they have some preset palettes down here at the bottom and you can just kind of click on these and change your different colors and get some cool stuff going on uh, but the other thing you can do of course is you can come in here and you can grab a hold of the bottom color and let's just say we want to make this color black and then we have uh, you know, color that is the theme of our site. And let's just say we're going to come up here. We're just going to say that this is the color theme for the site. And you can just change this around. And, of course, it has a complete palette. And you can also just uh, type in your um, your hex decibel number over here on the right hand or on the left hand side as well. But here was the really cool part, and I didn't know this when I've ever I've used this before, is that you can upload your own images into this. So you can come over here and you can click on upload, and it'll of course open up Finder, and you can find your image in here. But what's even cooler is you can just drag your image, and I got a picture of uh, Richard Branson here. You can just drag your image in without having to do anything else. Just grab it off your desktop, drag it in, and then, of course, you can manipulate your colors. Now, this would be for a background, and you're going to have a specific color palette on your site or a primary color. And what uh, Blake said to do is set the bottom one to black and then come up here to the top one and grab a hold of this and drag it down about you know, three quarters of the way or whatever is going to work good for the background of your site. And you can see it really kind of darkens things up and that would make a great background. Let me see what else I got for some images. I was just pulling some stuff off of some sites uh, before. Uh, well, actually, here's a picture of Blake Newbar. Let's just drop this one in here from one of his sites. And so let's see if that worked. Um, actually, okay, I thought for a second I was going to end up with both. And so here's uh, something I, I scraped off of his Freedom Fighter site. And so it's just really makes a cool way of being able to very, very, very quickly make a background without having to use Photoshop or Canva or anything else. So that was it for today. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.